What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Wolfpack Automotive. This is episode number four on the drag truck, and we're getting into part two on the roll cage. So picking up where I left off inside the cab, I was getting ready to add some support bars that would attach from the cage down to the cab floor. In this video, you could see me using a pocket mirror to get to the back side of the cage to fully weld them in place. They were pretty tough to do, but the pocket mirror and a flashlight really helped out a ton. After welding the support bars, I wanted just to go over everything real quick, double check my work, make sure everything was up to par. So I grabbed my pocket mirror and I looked at the back of the welds from what I could see, everything looked strong, everything looked where it was supposed to be. I also make sure that my plates on the cab floor were fully welded and everything looked pretty symmetrical. I measured probably three times and this is what I did for the cage mounts I attached to the frame. Some people are going to come and say they're not strong enough, but I'm following the NHRA rules which state that you have to use a 3 8 bolt on any mount for the roll cage. So that's what I did there. And now working towards the swing out bar. I decided to only do a swing out kit on my passenger side for the fact being is I want any passenger that rides with me uh, to feel comfortable getting in and out of my truck. I know it's probably not as strong as the driver's side will be, but it'll be safe enough for any passenger that rides with me. I will not be racing with the passenger, but I would like to take the truck on cruises and whatnot. But I just wanted that added safety factor for any passenger that rides with me just in case an accident occurs where I get T-boned or whatever the case may be. So here I am checking out everything on the swing out bar, making sure all the welds are done on the mounts themselves. The bar is still tacked into place and here it is just testing the fitment of it to make sure it swings out properly. The bottom of the bar is welded fully, but the top of the bar is just tacked into place. I wish I had the audio from the video, but it, it really messed it up somehow, and I don't know if my earbuds were in or what, but this is what it looks like after I pulled the pin. It was still hot, so I kept my welding gloves on, but I tested the swing out. It looked perfect to me. It swung out exactly how it's supposed to, and it lined itself up. You couldn't have asked for a better alignment on that. I truly liked how it looked. And so what I did on the driver's side, I kind of matched up. That's just sitting in place temporarily for now. Um, I cut it to the desired length that I wanted. And there it is welded in place. Here's a picture of the X bracing. I was not able to record any piece of that because I went live on TikTok when I did weld the X bracing in on the rear frame. I still have the bottom plates to do on the back half kit. Everything else is plated up on it, but now I need to just plate the bottom to fully box it in and make it as strong as I want it to. And I believe at this point, I already finished the mounts underneath the cab floor attaching to the frame. So I believe those were fully welded in and now I'm getting ready to do some covers for the cab bars that I cut a square hole in. This is a seat I picked up for around 170 bucks. It is a Corbu Forza seat. It's pretty comfortable. And these are the templates I made out of cardboard just to try and give me an idea of what I was going to do. I dropped it there real quick. But they didn't come out perfect when I cut them. Um, it was just leftover scrap metal that I had. Pretty decently thick stuff. A lot thicker than what the cab material is made out of. So... Once I set them in place, I, I kind of marked out what all I needed to grind down so I could weld it to the cab floor. And my plan was to weld them in place at the bottom, just tack welding them, and then hitting them with a hammer and a punch to get them to that curvature of the cab so that it fit pretty nicely. And then on the other side, it was, it was messed up even worse. But I, I fully welded the roll cage to the cab i don't know how people are going to think about this but i just wanted as much water to stay out of the cab as possible if it ever does happen i'm pretty sure i won't be taking this out in the rain or snow anytime soon but 
that's what it looks like. I know the welds aren't the prettiest, but I was still getting used to the new welder we have. But I think it turned out pretty decent. I know they'll hold, and that's pretty much all I'm worried about. I'm not no professional welder. Um, I do as good of a job as I can. I'm still learning some things here and there. But there was heat halfway up the bar, so I'm pretty sure it was hot enough. So as you can see here, I'm going to show the other side. I haven't yet welded that in. And you can tell <laughs> when I cut out the template out of the leftover sheet metal, a little piece kind of broke off. But I'm not too worried about that. So I got the back half fully plated up, fully welded in. I like how it came out. Um, pretty decent. I might add some more support on the back half. I'm not sure quite yet what I want to do fully. This is just an idea that I came across. And now this is what the driver's side plate looks like. So I got both of them well. It looks like I wasn't finished with the cab mounts yet. But I did pull the cab off the body, fully welded the mounts on, and got everything welded, including the rear brackets for the rear part of the cage. And I know the cage isn't fully done, but let me know what you guys think, what I should add more of, if anyone's comfortable with the NHRA certs. I know I need a dash bar, and I'm currently working on that. And I just put the stock passenger side seat back in to see how it looks. More likely, I'm going to put a 12-point kit in it to make it more strong and more solid all the way around. I want it to be as safe as possible. And the next video, I'm going to be putting the dash in, so hopefully you guys will check that out. Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe for more updates on the drag truck. And thank you guys for watching. It means a lot to me.